All right, and now let's see how we can restrict access to certain routes. And first in the pages, we'll have to create that component. So in this case, it's going to be protected route. And then in the app JS, you want to wrap whatever page you want to restrict access to in that protected route. So yes, in the element, you'll have to go with protected route, and then whatever page you want to render. So automatically, this page will be restricted. So let's start here in the pages. Let's set up new file. I'll call this protected route. For time being, it doesn't really matter what we display here, since the logic is going to change anyway. And once we have the file ready to go, let's navigate back to app.js. We want to go with protected route. And then since I want to restrict access to the dashboard, now I want to wrap the dashboard with a protected route. And I'll set it up as self closing. And let's go over here with protected route. And like I said, normally we'll pass in the user using use context. Or in this case, since it's right away in the app JS, I just go with user equals to user, since we'll need to check it. And then if the user exists, only then we'll display the dashboard. So now notice, even though technically URL says dashboard, we're displaying this protected route because now we're wrapping dashboard with protected route. So up next, now let's set up the functionality, where in the protected route, we want to import navigate component from react router DOM. And then we want to access two things, we want to access the children. So this is going to be that dashboard page, or whatever page we place in that protected route, and also a user. And then we'll check if the user doesn't exist, we want to use navigate component. And we'll just say where we want to navigate. However, if everything is correct, we'll return children. In our case, it's going to be our dashboard. So let's go to protected route. And first, let's grab that navigate. So I'm going to go here with import, then navigate. So navigate component from react router DOM, then let's access both props. So children's prop, so children, and then also user. And let's set up that logic where if there is no user, then we want to go with return and navigate to and I'm just going to go to homepage, please keep in mind, we can navigate wherever we want. And then if everything is correct, then we'll just return children. So with this in place, what's going to happen once we refresh, we'll have homepage. And if let's say we try to somehow manually get to the dashboard, the access will be restricted. Notice how we navigate back. Why? Well, because there is no user. So only if we go to a login one, and add that user, in my case, john, john at gmail.com, then we'll be successful, and we'll navigate to the dashboard and display it. And again, I guess the biggest gotcha is the fact that in the app JS, where you render the pages, you do need to wrap it, you need to wrap whichever page you want to restrict access to in the protected route component.